Uh, today, the man suspected of sending explosive material to critics of President Trump made his first court appearance today in Miami as another suspicious package was found. Here's Manuel Bohorkas. In court, a handcuffed Caesar Sayek was soft-spoken and even appeared to become emotional at times, a stark contrast to the man accused of a campaign of fear that continued even today, this time with a suspicious package intercepted in Atlanta addressed to CNN headquarters. It would be at least the 15th potentially explosive device Sayok is accused of mailing to prominent critics of President Trump. CBS News has learned the suspect had a list of more than 100 others, mostly politicians and media figures. Investigators say Sayok's van, covered in pro-Trump stickers, was his home and bomb lab. Authorities say none of the devices had a trigger mechanism, and Sayok said he never intended to harm anyone. Sayok is an ardent supporter of the president. Filmmaker Michael Moore released this footage of him at a rally in Florida last year. Deborah Garagian manages a pizza restaurant where Sayok once worked. In your view, his these weren't just political views. It, it went beyond that. It went, it went to pure hatred, yes, pure hatred. Surveillance video obtained by a Miami station shows Sayok reading newspapers at a strip club just hours before he was arrested Friday. Daniel Aronson represents Sayok. We don't know what they have yet. That's up for them to, to, to prove. Tonight, the Joint Terror Task Force is notifying people whose names are on the alleged target list found in Sayok's van, and authorities warn other packages may still be out there. Sayok is scheduled to be back in court Friday. Jeff? Manny, thanks very much.